Hello everyone and welcome to this conceptual problem class. Here also we are solving a problem of trust. And let me tell you, this is really a tricky problem and that is going to surprise you in the end. What we need to find here, we have to find the force in member AB which is here. This is really a very simple problem. It will hardly take a minute to solve, but it looks like a complicated problem. And for to solve this problem, we must understand the concept of zero force member. I have already covered the entire concept of zero force member in my previous class. But here also I will give you a brief so that you will be able to solve the problem using the zero force member concept. Hello viewer, this is Ashish Purohit and I want to inform you that I am available on Unacademy now. On Academy, on 7th, 14th, 21st and 28th of November, we are having a test using this 60 minutes. You can check your caliber. You can compare yourself among all other contestants who are preparing for the gate examination. And this is for all the branches. So for the beginner, we are having a 15 questions, 45 minute test for intermediate, 30 questions, 90 minutes. And for the advanced level, this is actually the last and very important test, which you should definitely appear. That is 65 questions and 180 minute. And all the tests are free. You can use this Ashish P10 code and then you can unlock the test series. So for the beginner, you should start with the beginner and that is the 15 questions. In addition to that, Unacademy is a platform where you can directly contact your uh, educator. You can simply raise your hand. You can send your voice. You can simply ask your doubts by sim clicking a picture. Then your educator will help you. If you are having a weak base for a particular subject, you can also go for the iconic subscription. In this subscription, there will be one to one interaction and you can improve your weak subject by directly contact with a single mentor. We are starting another page for the gate 2023 and engineering services 2023 aspirant that is going to be start on 10th of November. And this is our team of educator. We are going to start with the fluid mechanics with Mr. J.S. This is the prices for fourth month subscription within this subscription you will get multiple questions, multiple tests that is definitely going to help you in your preparation. So at the end, what is an academy live interaction with your mentor? You can you will get lecture note and it is in your mobile. You can use it anywhere, anytime. Condition for zero force member is that whenever we are having two collinear member with a side branch, for example, if I will see joint E here. So in joint E here in this given truss, if I am going to draw the joint E, I will have one member that is E to D. Another member that is from E to F and the third member is E to C. So this EC is actually nothing but the side branch here. So whenever we are having a side branch, it will actually have the zero force. So the force will not transmit it in the side branch. Similarly, if I will see any other truss where we are having two collinear member with a side branch with particular angle. So here you can see that the angle is 90, but suppose I am having angle theta here and there are three members. Let's A, B, C and D. So here also the BD is the side branch. And whenever we are having a side branch, it will going to experience zero force. So when I will consider this concept, I will be able to find the given truss is really a simple truss and how it is if I am going to consider the joint E. At joint E, the CE is a side branch. So CE is ultimately going to have the zero force. So it is a zero force member. Once the CE will over, I can remove the CE and now again I will make the entire truss. This is a simple diagram where CE will not be there only CF and then FB and again the third member. So now again if I will make the C joint. From the C joint I can see that now there are three members. One is the DC and D, uh, CB and the third is the CF. So here also the CF is a side branch. So it is also going to experience the zero force. So this is again my zero force member. 
Once the CF will go away, now I can visualize the F joint where the BF is the side branch because this it will not be there, CF will not be there. So now the BF will again a side branch and then the BG will again the side branch because when I will remove the three members CE, CF and FB, I will be having my truss in this fashion where there will be only one member which is connected at point B, G, D and A. So the BG again is a side branch when I am going to see the joint B. So from this point of view, all the members which are connected between the AD and DG will zero. So finally what I will have, I will have a simple triangle with one force. So my truss will become very simple that this is now my truss which, which is having two supports here and the force, force is acting in this fashion. If I will now make the top point that is joint D, here also I will find that there are one force which is of 100 Newton. There is another member that is my AD. Because now what is AB, BC and DC all are a single line. So I can consider that if I am going to calculate the force in member AB that is going to represent by the AD only. So if I will make the joint D now, here also I will find that the two forces are collinear. This 100 Newton and the DA is collinear. So the force in the side branch again will be zero. So ultimately this is not actually a truss. It is going to be a simple line which is experiencing a force and all other members are actually zero force member. So in the given truss, this entire branch is also going to be a zero force member. So finally what I will have, I will simply have a line connected here and a force which is acting in this way. So this is how you will find that the entire truss will become a simple line and all other members have become zero force member and such problems are really important and generally asked in competitive exams. So please understand what we have covered in this session. We actually observed that this is a truss and there are multiple zero force member and what is the concept of zero force member? We have to find two collinear members with a side branch. So every time when we have considered a joint, for example, joint E, in case of joint E, the CE was the zero force member. Once the CE removed, I have seen the C joint. So in case of C joint, the CF was the side branch. So it has removed after CF, the BF and C subsequently the BG removed. Finally, we have observed a simple triangle with one force and here also the force is acting along the AD. So the DG part has also become the zero force member and this entire part has removed. So ultimately we have a simple line with a 100 Newton force. So this, this is how we can simply solve this problem and the AB force in AB is nothing but the 100 Newton. Similarly, if I will give you another problem which you need to solve in just 20 seconds, how you will find the zero force member in this given truss. So here also you can see that which members will be zero force based on this concept. So we can see that this JF, JF is not having any force. Okay, I have not given any force in this truss. I am going to put one force here. Sorry, another force is acting here and one force is acting here. So this is now in our my truss let this is 100 Newton, 200 Newton and 300 Newton and we have to find the zero force member. So here also we can start, we can start from this joint F. When you will see the joint F, the FJ is a side branch so it will be zero force member. Similarly HI, when I will see the joint H, HI will again the side branch. Once the HI will remove, the IG will be the side branch. Similarly JG will be the side branch. When this will remove, what I will see here, I will have a triangle with these members and this member. So if I will finally see the G joint, the GC will also be zero, so it will also remove. So ultimately what I will have, I will simply have a triangle with these members and the forces which are acting here, here and here. All these members, so how many members are zero force member? Five members. One, two, three, 
force and this five member so please understand the zero force member concept is really important and normally asked in competitive exam so i hope they have, now you have understood the concept of zero force member as well as how we can solve this complicated problem the problem see, looks very complicated but ultimately these problems are really simple problem you can solve it in 30 second with this note i am closing this session thank you